What's going on, Mangados? It's me again, Axel, and today I will show you how to do speed ramping effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Make sure you watch the video until the end because it's super easy. And uh, yeah, let's start the tutorial. And I already have a file here. I have the video and the audio. So next thing we need to do is disable the audio by pressing V on your keyboard. Now we can focus here in the first clip. So my idols, I will show you two kinds of speed ramping. The slow to fast and uh, normal to slow or fast to slow. So we can start in the slow to fast um, speed ramping. In the first clip and go select here, we choose a tool and uh, choose the range selection tool by pressing R also on the keyboard, the shortcut, and now we can select and the next thing we need to do is select a file so that we can apply the effect now let's say i will uh, select the file then we go here choose the fast and eight times so now if i play it we have the slow to fast speed ramping okay so to make it more cinematic or more really cool effect you can go it here zooming the timeline and now we can clearly see these gray bars here as you can see there's a gray bars here now to make it more cinematic make it shorten to make it the best if you play it it is more like cool video effect so now we're done the slow to fast um, speed ramping. And here I, I will show you the same thing, but uh, it's a normal speed to slow or fast to slow. Same thing you need to do. Go here, choose the rent selection tool. And um, let's say I choose here. Okay. And then go to this retiming option. Choose the slow at, at this moment and 25%. And zoom in a bit. Pressing here, zoom it. And then make it shorten these gray bars. Okay, don't forget it. I recommend to shorten these gray bars to make it more really cool effect. Now, fast to slow effect. Now you can apply this uh, effect all of your videos as many as you like. And we will switch on the audio by pressing V again on your keyboard. And now we can play back the speed ramping that we did. We done already the speed ramping and one more thing you need to know is if you want to sync the effect in the into the audio I will show you how okay what you need to do is you need to identify where is the audio drop beat let's say uh, we have the drop beat around here we can zoom it a bit so that we can clearly see the audio so now it's clearly visible let's say you want the speed ramping effect you want to sync to the audio what you need to do is double click these gray bars go to edit and there is a icon which is the movie icon you can drag it align to the audio drop beat okay the same thing as well if you want to sync the audio to the other drop beat same thing you need to do so that's pretty it, we're done. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. If ever have a new tutorial, you will be notified. Thank you for watching again. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.